The lighting in here is absolute gash. There's honestly no two ways about it. Also, it is 20 past six in the evening and I have still to actually speak on this vlog. <sighs> also, also, if I look a little bit bedraggled, like I've just been like dragged through a hedge, it's because I feel like I've been dragged through a hedge. I went for a massage, so I'm in Edinburgh. So in Edinburgh, if you don't know hi, by the way, I'm I stay in Glasgow. Um, I'm through in Edinburgh and the reason that I came through here is for the Beltane Fire Festival, which is a big festival that celebrates the beginning of summer. It celebrates a lot of fertility and all that good vibes. I still to go to that. While I was here, I went for a massage at the Lush Spa, which has been something on my bucket list that I have wanted to do, like forever and eventually got the chance to do it and oh my god if you get the chance like it, it's kind of expensive i will say for treatments so i got the good hour treatment which is a 70 minute deep tissue massage and it is like nautical sailor pirate themed and that was 120 pounds so it's definitely not cheap is definitely like a treat for yourself but honestly like i've had a lot of treatments before and it is so so worth it i wonder if i can sit you here or if that lighting will be too terrible that'll have to do like i said the treatment was 70 minutes long and you go in she lets you choose out of six massa massa massage massage bars which one you would like to use I went for the CBD one. I actually can't remember what it's called. I've never used that massage bar before. Oh my God. And it was hands down the best treatment I've ever had in my life. The soundtrack was so phenomenal. It was all like sea shanties. I'm sure she says from like the 30s and 40s, like original sea shanties. It was genuinely like that made, I mean, the therapist that I had as well was honestly so, so amazing. Her name was Amanda. She was so nice, so good at her job. The massage was so, 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 so perfect. And then the tr like just everything about it, like the atmosphere, everything. When you go in before your massage, you they give you like a tiny little bath bomb or they show you a tiny little bath bomb. For me, I got the big blue bath bomb you know, like sailor themed. Um, she put it into like hot water so that it would all like dissipate in the hot water. And as she was leaving me for my treatment, like for me to get like unchanged and stuff, she poured it under dry ice on the bed. So all dry ice was like surrounding the room. It was actually like so amazing. Like I already can't wait to go back and get that treatment because it was genuinely so so good she also did like a lot of like pressure points on me as well and like tension release so i did not know how much tension i had in my arms but oh my god like if you i like quite a deep pressure massage anyway but there was a point where i was like oh this is a lot but she kind of explained that to me at the beginning she's like from a scale of like zero to ten it's probably about like a six that you'll feel when I'm actually doing like the trigger point massage and then when I release it it should be like a big relief and it really really was so on my arms was the most tense also on my legs I have very sensitive like ticklish legs anyway but like I can't recommend this treatment enough it was actually like so so incredible and now I'm feeling way too chill that I can't be bothered going to the fire festival but I am going to go so it's half six the now. Or is it at half seven? I'm going to aim to go for about eight, half eight. It's on till 12 tonight and I don't know how long I'll stay. So I'm obviously here on my own. Martin couldn't come with me because he's absolutely swamped for uni work right now. He was just like, I actually like can't take any time off right now. And then one of my other friends, Abby, was like potentially going to come with me and then she couldn't and I was like, do you know what, I'm still gonna just go because like I didn't bother asking any of my other friends because I was like, going myself actually might be pretty nice because I've been feeling like I needed like a real 
self-care healing kind of day so I feel like this is exactly what that's going to be. I'm super excited to be celebrating Beltane. I've never actually celebrated it before so it is like a pagan festival. They're going to have the green man, they're going to have the May Queen and everything and I genuinely think it's going to be really really amazing. They're going to have a lot of fire acts and stuff. I don't really know what else to expect from it because like I said I've never been before but I'm just hoping it's all going to be really good witchy cool vibes and I'm just hoping that it's going to be like something a little bit reviving and refreshing for my soul basically is what I think. Makeup is done. I am just about to head out the door. My makeup didn't exactly turn out the way that I wanted it to but actually now I'm looking at it I'm like it's pretty cool and also my outfit isn't exactly the outfit I was going to wear. I was going to wear different trousers as well but it's actually like pretty shitty weather outside so I was like okay I'll just wear these because the other ones that I got were like really really thin material and I was like if I wear them and I'm out till like midnight I don't know how long I'm going to stay I'm going to be absolutely fucking freezing so these ones will do and I feel like you know the flames they kind of go with the theme of the fire festival and they also go with my makeup as well there's a better look at my makeup so it totally isn't as like vibrant as I wanted it to be. I'm not like best pleased. I'll be honest, I think it looks better in real life than it looks in this light. The lighting in this hotel is just like fucking abysmal. Anyway, it'll have to do and it's actually not very nice outside so it'll probably fucking rain off anyway. And then I've just chucked on my little faux leather jacket with my little sun and moon shirt under it. And a little pair of combat boots. Ka-chow! I feel like I'm kind of mismatchy, but I'm kind of feeling it as well. I think I actually like this better than the outfit I had planned. And I'm going to be much cosier. Martin actually always makes fun of me in these trousers with my little flames on the side. Like I'm reliving like my skater girl era or something. But I think they're quite cool. They're from Savage X Venti and they're, do you know what, they're really good quality. And I feel kind of cute in them, so Martin, if you're watching this, fuck you. Just kidding, love you.
been standing pretty much with the fire like this much away from me the whole night so I'm feeling like I have a million gallons of smoke in my lungs I actually have like soot all over my face and shit like I feel like I've been through it I feel like pretty fucking bedraggled and I feel like basically I feel like you know, like when you have like a really really heavy booze sesh and I have not had a really really heavy booze sesh but it is after one and I have had a pretty long day and it was fucking freezing outside I'm so so cold I have so much smoke in my lungs and I can't wait to get to bed but I also had such a good night and I'm so glad that I came even though no one else came with me I'm so glad that I just decided to say like fuck it and just come myself because I had a really good night and now sleep <laughs> definitely looked better i feel very tired i just feel like as well like when you're in a hotel you can't actually sleep properly unless that's just me this might sound like a little bit weird but the room was too dark and i don't know if you're the kind of person that sleeps in like complete blackness then that might be like fine but i have like all my lights out but like in my bedroom but it's still not like i'm in space i don't know i found it like very eerie just being so dark um that's a me issue though <laughs> and obviously i didn't get in until after one in the morning and then i was still awake at half two so i'm very very sleepy and then traveling back home i was stuck on a train carriage with the most fucking insufferable man in the whole world but that's a story for another day just thought I would catch you up. Um, I don't think I really explained what Beltane is. I'm sure that if you're on this channel, you might have a vague idea of what it is. But a very, very brief summary is it is a Celtic tradition. It marks the midpoint between spring and summer. So the Beltane Fire Festival is a retelling of the procession of the May Queen and the death and the rebirth of the Green Man. It's all about fertility, sexuality, new beginnings. Um, think about everything like just a little bit fiery like bringing everything like a little bit mm, a little bit new there so when I was there I actually had a really good think to myself about the things that I really wanted to leave behind like um kind of thinking of the fire symbolically as the things that I want to burn away from my life that are no longer serving me anymore and what I want to kind of move forward into the next step of my life as something I've been working on a lot lately is self-concept so I didn't really think about things that I wanted like externally that I wanted to leave behind and bring in new it was more like my thoughts about myself the way that I speak to myself and just kind of everything that's going on really internally with me um so I found it really refreshing i do feel like a lot lighter today um and i just had an all in all really good time me and martin are gonna go next year together because it was really good and i would really love to experience it with him as well and next year he won't be as busy as he is this year so i'm very excited um yeah definitely like highlights of yesterday where like all the the actors and the performers and stuff were just honestly like so so amazing like the way that they stayed in character for literally hours and hours and hours especially the goblins who were keeping us like entertained the whole time they were just so so funny and they were so so sweet like um yeah they just actually like made the whole time for me i just thought they were so great um and what is really cool as well all the workers there 
are all volunteers. So the torchbearers, the druids, the cats, the goblins, everybody is all just volunteers. I actually also got some cute gifts while I was there. So a goblin gave me a potato to make good soup. Um, thank you, I guess. <laughs> and then another goblin gave me this little shell, which they says was like a baby goblin or something. I don't know, but I'm going to treasure it forever. And then, how cute. If you have a name for this baby goblin, let me know in the comments. <laughs> then this guy who I'm kind of convinced was actually like a real life vampire. That's just what he looked like. He walked up to me like total stone faced looked at me and went and I was just like thanks and he just turned and walked away and I was like okay what is this I'm like first of all intrigued and then it's a little poem called the last wolf part one for well I don't actually know if this is his poem or if it is someone else's poem. I've never heard it before. Shall I read it to you? I will probably butcher it in some of the words I feel like I can't actually read just because it's in handwriting. Maybe it's me that's the issue. But it's very fucking cool and I'm very pleased with this. So it's called The Last Wolf, part one, fur. She remembers as if yesterday, arrows hissing above her head, shouts of men with sharp faces trailing behind, escaping, evading she plunges herself into the dark water of dusk the world turns black for a split second thunderbolts crack the sky open blinding light as thunder rolls across glen and mountain she gasps for breath as currents pull her weight invisible claws dragging her up and down until she emerges on the calm of the storm a third silence is moonshine and wind dance on still waters, lost, energy draining, infecting wounds and leaking, painful howls of her sisters echo far beyond the moon. She hears each and every howl, silenced forever, ruthless, her brethren lost. Reality looms at the edge of her mind, as reality often does. She knows she must live on, Life shall remain forever suspended. She drops her fur and walks on two naked feet. Is it just me that thinks that's like the most fucking beautiful poem I've ever heard? Like that's so fucking cool. Like I actually like love this so so much. So thank you vampire guy who gave me this. I genuinely appreciate that. I fucking love it. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end the vlog because I, my good friends, am desperate for a bath. I don't think I smell that great. Um, my hair definitely smells like bonfire and please comment if you've enjoyed this. Comment what you want me to call the little baby goblin and subscribe if you like me <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.